Hi class, so in the second video I'd like to show you how to customize your main menu because that can be uh, a, a little confusing in WordPress. Let me just say this, uh, there's more than one way to do everything in WordPress. Okay, so I am going to show you I think what I would consider to be the easiest way to add a site page. So when we talk about a site page, what we mean are, so in this particular um, theme that I chose, my menu is one of these. I call, sometimes we call these the hamburger menu because um, they're like it's like collapsed like a hamburger on a bun. <laughs> so, uh, or you might have one where it's going across the top. I actually kind of like those better, uh, but it doesn't really matter. You can just choose whichever you want. So, but I want to add an about page. You're going to need an about page. You're going to need like a resource, like a resources page or a links I like page. So let's just go ahead and put that in here now. Um, if you don't know what you want to call your resources page, you can just call it resources for now or, um, or links, links I like. And again, you can always change that. So, but let me show you how to actually add more items to your menu. So the way that we want to do this, this is our main blog menu here. Okay, now if we go to customize, that will take us into the site identity and the header and all of that that we were in before. But for right now, I want to show you these. So this is pages and posts. Okay, so pages means site pages. So site pages mean um, your about page, your resources. Let's just say I've been I've been blogging for a while and I have recipes. I can add that. So they're site pages. So these are pages that are going to appear on your main menu and they become, um, you know, part of your site's navigational structure. Okay, now posts are strictly blog posts, and we'll we'll do that in a second. But let so if we go to site pages, okay, these are the site pages we already have, and I'm going to go to um, add a new page. Okay, and then you want to have a, just call this. You can do about about me bio. I just think about is you know pretty much does the trick and works. So I am going to, I can, I'm just going to publish this. You can save things in draft, but let's just publish it so it will appear on our site, except that it won't just yet. So, uh, so I, I set up the page and then I'm going to go back. Okay. And there it is. Now, um, let's go back and look at my blog, but it's not on my menu. Oh, it is. Oh, that was really handy. Jeez. So, Oh, so this is actually an improvement um, for WordPress. I didn't realize it would do that. Interesting. Okay, but I want to change the order of my menu. So I'm going to show you, obviously that's the first way to add something to your menu. Okay, or you can go into Customize. Remember, we were here before. This is where you can change your site uh, title. You can mess with your back, uh, colors and backgrounds and your fonts. We'll talk about the hem header image down the road. Don't worry about that for right now. So let's look at our menu. So you don't want to create a new menu. So always work with your primary menu. Okay. So the primary menu uh, here. So I'm just going to add it here. And that way then I can start messing around a little bit with the order. So I'm going to want my, let's say, home about blog. I don't actually like, um, they're, they're now putting feed in here. I, I actually just prefer it. I'll, I'll show you how to do that um, too. So and remember how I said, so that's one way to add your menu item and move things. So I can, if I want that first, I can move that first. You can create sub pages. So let's just say I had, um, obviously home comes first. Let's just say I had something else that I wanted to put under like my um, blog. I can do that by, I can create those sub pages on the pull down menu. Um, but for right now, let's add your resources page. And you can just do that simply by, so you can make this resources links. I like, we're not going to have to worry about this for a while, like not until like week eight. But I just want to create it now so it's done and you have it. So um, the way I would want this was home blog about resources. That looks good. You can also, you can reorder them. Um, here it's looking like, 
Um, if you'd like to change, pick another. Okay, we'll do this a little bit later too, and we're also we'll add a social menu um, at some point, so you can do that right now. Or, well, let's not do that right now because it will look weird with all the W's, okay? And then once we have our menu how we want it, we publish it. Now, if I want to go in, let's say I, I, I'm like, oh, I don't really want to call it resources. I want to call it something else. Um, that's fine. So the way to do that is to go back. Let's look at the site page. Oops, site pages. And I'm going to edit this one. Edit page. This come okay. So this menu just launched in here. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I mean, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I'm going to update it. Now this blog again. I remember when I said in the beginning of this video that there's always more than one way to do things in WordPress. Um, oh dear, something happened. Huh, work. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to get out of this menu and go over here. Yes, it did work. I'm not sure why it took me all the way in there, but that's something a little bit new. And look, there's always new things going on here in WordPress. I could add another a site page. And again, I can go and then I can reorder it if I go back in through my menu into customize. But that should hold you for now. The other thing I want to show you when we go to the customize, all right, is this is um, the widget section. So a widget is, uh, these are add-ons for your site. You might have a text image. Uh, you might have a, a t I'm sorry, a text widget where you would, it, it gives a little blurb about you, or you might have to add it. So we are going to be adding widgets. Um, Everybody's going to add, and we might as well do this right now. So, okay, so on my site that I chose, I don't have sidebar widgets. All of my widgets are going to come into the bottom. So my, um, which actually, I feel like I'm better on the side, but again, I, I pick this sort of theme. So, um, but I can tell it where I want it in um, footer one, and I want to add an image. You always want to do your follow button. Click on that. All right. You can also show your follower count if you want to do that. Although it's kind of depressing to do that when you first launch a blog because you're not going to have anybody. So then I can add another widget and the other widget. I can do an image. I can do it in my Instagram feed if that ties into what I'm doing. Um, or I could do um, a text image, a text widget. I'm sorry. And um, and then this is hi. Susan. All right, and then you can just name this like welcome to my blog. All right, I'm going to publish it and then we'll go look at the widgets. So you can go through the widgets and look at them. Everybody needs to have either a text or an image widget and then a follow button. Okay, let's look down here. So here, this is where my little blurb is. Hi, I'm Susan. I can write more. I could add images down here. Um, so you might have, depending on your theme, your widgets might be over here or they might be over here. I actually like them on the sidebar, right? So I probably would ditch this and, and get um, a blog that has that. Okay, so that is widgets, site pages. And I want to show you one more thing in this video. I, I don't want to get too long on you here, but here's where, okay, on your post, right? This is where when you want to do a new blog post, um, I would just get rid of the example. Let's just get rid of them all. Okay, when you're ready to do your first blog post, you're going to go add new post. Okay, we'll do add new post. And this will be your very first blog post that you do. Now, when you go to add your about, you only want to do that through your site page. Okay, so you don't want to get that mixed up. You go back into your site page. You go into your about and you edit and then you are going to fill in your about. Okay. And then I will take you through how to format your text, 
This is also, there's also um, a different customizer that you can use, and I will explain that. Um, but when it comes time to put your about in, I'll show you how to format that. And I uh, just wanted to get you up and running, and hopefully you are. And let me know if you have any questions, and welcome to the blogosphere.